Hey, how you going? It's Josh. I'm here with Benny. What's going on? We're doing another full album reaction on stream. Phineas, The Fire Itself. I've only heard the title track, The Fire Itself, but I absolutely loved it. This is a four piece. They're all incredible musicians. They're heavy. They're metalcore. They're sick. Uh, neither of us have heard the album. No. So heaps keen. I've only heard the one song. So we're going to kick it off. Track one, Eternally Apart. Let's go. Let's do it. Ten track, that's a good that's a good amount. I like that. Interesting starter. Was not expecting that. No. Did you see the fire itself video? I think I did. Alright. It's I almost like the song. Yeah, I'm glad that I saw that before this because okay. seeing them as a four piece being so technical and crazy is yeah. like a really great introduction to them. Yeah, right. There we go. Dude, this is not what the other song was like. This is like power metal. Interesting. Kill switchy. Yeah. As an album introduction, Gunsin, thank you so much for the follow. That's kill switch. This is a very interesting intro to the album. It is. It's like, hi, we're here. Yeah, but it's also, it doesn't feel like the single. No. So I wonder if the album has more of a feel like this, or if the single was the the different... Well, the way this is going, though, there's no vocals. Ah, so this is intro track. Yeah. Cool. I also found out recently that uh, whenever I go live, it's live on Twitter. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that's a Benny drum beat. Where are Phineas from? Guns in the legend. Sing and scream the same guy. Is it just one guitarist? See how it's stripped back? There's no big heavy guitar in the background yeah. when he's doing his lead. There is two here, yeah, but there must be Larry. In the film clip, there's only one. So yep. I don't know if they don't have another official guy. I wasn't sure if uh, the singer was guitar as well or not. It's cool. It's good band. And they're good dudes. Singer and the drummer reached out. said that, yeah. Dude, these pinch harmonics, I've always called them pitch. Harmonics? Pinch. 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 I'm a bass player. I'm not pinching anything. I'm <laughs> slapping. Great cleans. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's very a lot like birds. Yeah. Can't escape these solos <laughs> everywhere. Is that a pedal or is that dual guitars? Can't pick it. I'm say pedal. That's nice. Shit. Yeah. Half time. That 
That's sick. I'm so excited for you to see the video. Yeah, I don't think I have. I think it's track two. All right, Eternally Apart. Very interesting album introduction track. Wild. Loved it. Yeah, here we go. Title track, The Fire Itself. I have seen this one. Ben has not. Very cool video. Very cool band. See, this is not the vibe of that first track. Even the production right. sounds a little bit different. Yeah. I love that part of your guitar line. This is your... You love this, you know, like the cleaner with the yeah. screams. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool in the background. Ghost notes in the snare. I got really excited seeing the jazz bass the first time. <laughs> Filming on Mars. Ooh. A little bit of everything. Yeah. I haven't come did look like a bushfire. Very versatile front man. Yeah, it's highs, lows, cleans. Yeah. Dude, it's got a good start, this yeah, album. Oh, so good. I feel like this would have been a great track one. Yeah. I didn't mind the start. Just a slow build up. Yeah, that is true. The first track's the longest track. I think that's a bit strange. Yeah. But it was almost like two songs. Like, Yeah. Hey Gypsy, all good. Album react tonight, Phineas, we're on track 2 out of 10. Then we're going to get back to some more requests. Is that a very technical drum beat? It felt like slightly off beat. Nah, it's pretty, pretty basic. It's working very well with the rest of the band. Yeah. I've been considering getting a boxing bag behind me. The breakdowns. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. I love that track. Isn't it? Title track, Fire Itself. Does it look like a um, bushfire? Dude, it might be a bushfire. And then she's got the match. There's ashes. All Does that the say breakdown. Thorns? Yeah. Best album of all time. <laughs> Benny's wearing the Thorn Enterprises top at the moment. One of them. All right. So this is Thorns, track three. Different again. Oh, dude, it's paint. It's like faded paint. It's like but a painting. The other one was a photo, I think. Oh. The, 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 yeah, I don't know. I think that's meant to be a bushfire still. Hmm. I will get a boxing bag. I want one anyway. I never thought of putting it here.
dude, I like that a lot. I really, I said it before, but I really get Kill Switch vibes from it. That's your all. Yeah. yeah. Dragon Force 100% with the two guitars hit him. Seven, thank you so much. This is maybe a bit, uh, yeah, Haste the Day even as well. I don't know much Haste the Day. What is wrong with me? You played with them. Oh, sorry. Yes. That was so good. That was one like one gig we did that I, I didn't, I went in not knowing much about them. Yeah. It was amazing. I'm thinking of a different band. All this band, right? Sorry. No. Three words. Um, older. I like the drums in this. Good drummer. Does enough, but not too much. Just yeah. perfect. Oh, the change up there. Yeah, that's huge. He doesn't do too much. <laughs> oh, that's good. Nathan agrees with you. I don't know if you saw that. Those yep. Switch vibes. Yep. That's like a cool vocal line. Like it came in like... Yeah, it was swingy, like duh, duh, duh. It's gonna get me. It's Chuggy. Scream. Dragon Force, massive, massive Dragon Force vibes. Reminds me of uh, Bill and Ted. Yeah, sir. Wild Stallions! <laughs> that's, that's cool. They're good at making their hit mm. when, it, when it changes. Yeah, that little cut beforehand or yeah. the, yep. Good vocals. <laughs> They've done very well at going from screams to cleans. Like, they make it a feature. Yeah. A little bit of August Burns Red. Yep. I'm, I'm still... I have this band at the back of my mind. It's burning me. They got, they had a cover. They had a heavy version of a pop song that went big, like really early. Hey, Derek. <gasps> that was nice at the end. All right, that was Thorns, track three. Very cool. We are on to track four of the Phineas album. This is War You Know. Oh, this reminds me of, uh, I feel like I'm starting a Tony Hawk level. <laughs> Dude, oh, what? Seven, thank you so much. That's incredible. Nice one. That's huge. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Dude, you pop up. Jesus. <laughs> Dang. Oh, this is a Kraken song. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you again, Seven. Predictions. Clean chorus. Hi. I thought it was going to go steadier. Yeah. It might still, this could be a pre. 
August Burns Red, that's a couple of people, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Very cool. Great vocal line. Half time. Yeah. Double time. Yeah. Yeah. Look up. So that's sweet. This band is very good. Very good. I see myself listening to this album a lot. Yes. Now that I'm a CrossFitter, I see this being a workout song. I'm still sore. That's from Sunday. I love that shit. I love that. Like, Hello. Yeah. Like really like, off-putting. Like, yeah. Seven, I have the funniest thing to tell you about that. I, I kind of agree. Like, I was like, yeah. I started getting all these requests for the new Phineas songs and the new Phineas album at the same time that I was getting... I had a Billie Eilish video going really well and yeah. her brother's name is Phineas and he has a solo project and uh, I thought it was the same thing. Yep. Don't think so. No. <laughs> Didn't he have a lot to do with her writing of songs? Like he's... They wrote it all together. Yeah. yeah. If you want to know what about that, read my comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, lo and behold, they're amazing. Interesting. It's cool. Subtle in the background. Every sunrise is your final day. That is an interesting line. Even error like the guitars. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I Can't agree. But think it's on that cover. It looks like there's a person standing. These guys won't see it. Mm. Oh yeah. I will just here. Oh, they've That's got not it. showing up either. But this is defining moments. Still watching? Yes. Yes. What is love nice. What is fate Good guitar work. You have something to give, not just to carry. That's interesting. I love the anticipation of the first note, so it's not like on the one, it's yeah. like shh, dude, dude. Did you write this? <laughs> For those that don't know, we have a bass player and a drummer. And this is a good time. Yes. Old school. That's that's how it jumps. Yeah. <laughs> Loving this thing is worth. Dude, I was just thinking from his when he started like the no 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 kind of like cult yelling out. Yeah, for sure. That is hilarious, Spartan. I did not know that. And in fact, with Spartan, yeah. <laughs> This is some good headphone stuff going on. 
the build up. There's so much layering. That is an error zone. I haven't listened anymore to the grave, no. What just happened? Bit of a random timing thing. Ah, I did not follow that. Did they have to link two different timings together? They had it? I don't think so. I think they just came in early. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, I can do that a few listens. Good, good thing, though. Track five. All right, what did you think? This is the halfway point of the album. I'm loving it. So I think far, that's man. a good, solid, like opening act. Yep. Like, if we're splitting it into two EPs, I think that start was yeah. very strong. Yep. Interlude. Now we're cutting into track six, Holy Coward, featuring, I cannot say that name. CJ Massiantonio. Oh, there you go. You got the flames. And a mad guitar solo. Heaps more like upbeat, right? Like, yeah. Good like kick off to the second Bit of a half. southern rock feel to it. Yeah. Parkway. Yeah. Is it just the guitar tone and the squeals that make it southern rocky? Because I feel that as well. I can definitely. Hear it's that. not the whole thing, but this song in particular. Mm. But it is very much the. Yeah. I don't know if on a burning body. Yeah. I think it's that guitar line and the notes they hit. Yeah. Like you listen to this if he does it again. Yeah. Oh, to the grave in Melbourne. Hell yes. When's your birthday, Gypsy? Bass is kind of mixing from the mix. You can tell the bass is mixing, missing from the mix because I'm not talking about it. Is this a Texas band? Or To The Grave? Oh, Upon a Burning Body. Where are Phineas from? Very early uh, Memphis. Yeah, I get that vibe. Yeah, that's a very southern rock. Yeah. I, now listening on it, especially this song, from what Derek's saying, the bass is very, very held back. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oi. There's oi. You can hear the bass there. It's very raw. Uh, LA. From LA. Ten to Feb. Oh, nice. I knew I liked you, Derek. <laughs> Nice. All right. That one was Holy Coward. Track six. 
I think I'm starting to break into more solid state records bands. Yeah. I haven't um, heard too many, but to be honest, I haven't paid as much attention because yeah, I yeah. look at the I I love videos, so I'm always yeah, seeing know. that, yeah. I'm liking this tone. This is very nice. That like sparkly organ. You know what it reminds me of? Uh Chiodos. Yes. Yeah, dude. Opening of that. Do-do-do. Reminds me of uh, the cannibal. Is it, what is it? Is it a cannibal if I use a fork? Wow. I wish I had a guitar hero guitar. Yeah. These are props that I need. A boxing bag, a guitar oh. hero guitar. Might as well get me some drums while you're at it. You've got an electric kit. I do. Dude, so Parkway. So old Parkway. It's all on your own. I love it. Real life. Except Chanting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is a good bit. Band hero song. <laughs> this is cool. This song changed a lot suddenly. Throwing it out there, I think after this, we should do an August Burns Red song. Because okay. I'd love for you to hear the similarities. Okay. Especially the guitar work. I'm so happy with the the volumes of the like the Ooh, mics. Love it. Let us know how the setup is going for you guys, because for us this is so much better than it's been. <laughs> Bring me. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, thanks, Derek. Nice. Funny st- I've got a funny story about the mic that Ben's using as well. <laughs> that's, cool. that's really nice. This song is a sleeper. Yep. Dream Thief. Yes. Dude, I'll be at full tilt. December 4th. It's been re... Announced. Yeah, yeah, I cannot wait. We're the first one now. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone's full energy. That's cool. Dream Thief is, is when this song started, I was like, alright, this one isn't going to be for me. But then there was like a change about yeah, 30 or 40 seconds in, and then it's just been sick since then. It's, um,. Funny how you mentioned, like, imagine it as two EPs. Mm. The second half of the album has been, like, full energy so far. Like, real fast, upbeat, both yeah. songs. Yeah. So, we still track seven. Jesus. Derek's got a, a secret banger for us to oh. check out. All right, excited for that after this. So. Oh, I like that. This band is sick. That's insane. Dream Thief. Sleeper hit for me. So on good. The album so far. Track seven. I'm loving it. All right. Here we go. I'm predicting... Slow one, then two big bangers. Slow, really heavy, then epic. Last three. Yeah, it's pretty about time for it. This is The Storm In Me, track eight. It's got that low five. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. This could just be a tease. Nah, dude, this is going to be a slow, epic, uh, slowy. Pull me out of the water. Then the one after this is going to be like 
brutal, and then they're going to end with like a giant epic one, like a 50 50 yes. build up, like the like first track. Yes. I wonder if we'll be like you. No, I reckon heavier. Great vocal. I love like took the effect off the voice. Yes. I love the the mid range like lo fi mm-hmm. sounds. Makes like it seem really light. Yeah. I love this track. It's cool. It's huge. Did you say versatile for the singer earlier? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dude. This might build into something. I thought it was going to stay slow throughout. You're going to get to like a, a yell now? We've written a lot of songs. <laughs> Still so raw though, like. Yeah. It's very much a voice, like a speaking voice sang. Rejected. Very sharp tone to it. I love that double. Out of the waterline with a full band. Yes. Oh. Plenty of time. This is a great track. The storm in me. Oh. Not as beauty. Oh, this is good. Very Very like love is beauty. Half time. Yeah. I was just thinking before in the background, pull me out of the water would be good. Yeah, end it with that chanting. Very, very nice. Very nice. That's the way you fit a slow song into the same vibe of the album. Yep. Straight into it. Yep. Oh, no. So that was a Storm in Me, track eight. Two left. Severed by Self Betrayal. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. <laughs> track nine. This one's a lot of fun. This is like good running music. Album before this called Dark Flag. It's worth a look for sure. A bit more hit and miss, but still sweet overall. This one is consistent, solid. I love it. I had not heard of him before. Like, this one out single. Yeah. Yeah. 
They just know when to bring it back to that clean. And they mm. know when to go big again. Vocalist does a great job of the, the mix. Yep. <laughs> good, oh, dude, this is good running from Zombies music. 100%. Left to suffer. Nice. Oh, oh, dude, is to the grave the band that had Eco Side? I love that song. That song is sick. Let's go. Yes, that was nice. Rhythms in the verses are very similar. Yes, they have done this drum beat a fair few yeah. times. The last beat. That was nice. Ooh. Dude, that's fun. Chunkier as well. Ah, oh, doesn't stop working. Nah. Lower definition style. Just treads in his sleep. You are going to like To The Grave, yeah? Deathcore. Very, very good. All right, track nine, Severed by Self Betrayal. This is the final track of the album. This is In The Night. Let's go. Let's do it. Great album so far. Ooh. Reminds me of like 30 Seconds to Mars kind of cinematic yep. vibe. Feel like I'm about to embark on a great journey and level up some armor. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. I was going to say this is a good opening track, but the intro is just a little too long. Maybe that's would have been good. Shorter than the actual intro track. I would have switched to this first and last song so far. Good yep. This was the first single. I like There you go. Pierce the veil ish. It's epic. Yeah. 
slowly in the background. Yeah. This is a good finish. Yep. Anthem. Yeah. We are standing after this album. <laughs> I like this beat. Interesting. I like that. If I, did, if I didn't know, I would say that the guitarist was a singer. Because yeah. they allow so many solos. Yeah. yeah. Allow. That's big. A different kind of vocal, mm. it's a little more like Ice Nine Kills, Ronnie Radke, like a you know, little flair yeah. to it. Oh, let's go, boys! Whoa, weird ending. Mm. Unusual rushed ending. Are they going to... All right. That was In the Night. What a weird... It's the last track of the album. Let it ring out. Yeah, or just the cut. Yeah. Dun, dun, not yeah. Dun, or mm. Rush the Fade. Yeah. All right. Awesome album, though. It was. It was. I, I kind of agree with what Derek was saying. Like, the rhythms in the verses do get very similar. Yeah. But I think there's enough in the album to, to sort of disregard that and it's yeah. still awesome and so. it it did it was a collection yeah like it did all fit together really yeah, yeah. well yeah they went um, high they had their high moments they had yeah. their low moments it was it was good they stripped it back when they needed to i feel like yeah good like gym or running or yeah. that kind of kept up the intensity there's only the one slower song yeah great album though all right phineas we've got a new sick band very good very nice all right and because it's an album action oh, you know what uh, on album reactions i don't do an outro if you've stuck okay. with me this long, I, I don't ask people to do anything <laughs> at the end. I just say thank you. Great I appreciate job. you. Yeah. 